Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiads and AP Physics with Ambarish. And today before I say anything else, first of all I'd like to acknowledge my friend Ujjwal Kumar who helped me visualize the problem that I'm going to present today. So now let's get into the uh, problem for today. That is check your understanding fluid mechanics question number one. So what's the question? A rubber tube AB is connected to a glass tube BC. The glass tube consists of n equal to 5 identical inverted U sections. Diameter of the tubes are negligible as compared to height h is equal to 10 cm of these sections. Now water is poured very slowly through a funnel into the rubber tube at its open end A. What should be the minimum height capital H of the end A so that water starts flowing out of the end C of the glass tube. Neglect capillary action and viscosity. So here's the situation. There's a funnel from which we are uh, dripping the water into this and water is being dropped slowly into this and then uh, you have to visualize how the water is going to fill all these sections and we want that how, uh, it should, how much should we fill this so that water starts uh, coming out of end C. This is our problem. So if you want you can try it for some time. Uh, this is a highly conceptual question and it requires a lot of uh, visualization. Although it's not a very difficult or very time consuming kind of a question, but it does require a lot of visualization. So if you want, you can try out and then I'm going to present the solution to this problem and uh, attribute it to my friend uh, Ujjwal Kumar. All right. So let's get into the uh, solution. Let's try to visualize the filling process. Okay. What's the filling process? So what happens when you start filling this uh, funnel from the top? What happens? The water begins to rise over here. And what happens uh, at some point of time water fills all the way up to the top over here and what happens after that once the water is filled all the way up to the top you know that if you fill any more water water can, if it tries to rise a little bit higher then there's a flat surface available and over this the water can easily spill and attain the lowest potential energy state by uh, filling the bottom part all, all right so as you keep on filling more and more water what happens water keeps spilling from here and then keeps filling over here until this entire uh, this thickness is filled with water and now what happens now this water forms a barrier and the air over here you see it is trapped okay it cannot go to the right it cannot go here because uh, i mean you can say it's a kind of checkmate for the air uh, the tube is closed here by water and here also it's uh, water water is closing the tube so this is an air pocket that is created all right so this is the spill over and the air pocket formation process that you can see from this figure all right now what will happen after this if you still keep on pouring more and more water what happens then water keeps on spilling over from here and then it will start rising on the second unit so it will start rising in the second unit and uh, what happens uh, then again once the second unit is filled all the way up to the top then again you see you can visualize that again there will be spillover because uh, there will be some uh, water can spill over and get into the lower potential energy state so this process is continuing like this so what happens water rises more water then spills over and then fills this column then more water comes then more spilling over here and the water rises in this column more water then more spilling over over here and then from here spill over to the next uh, next unit and from here the spill over to the next unit and i hope you got the uh, spilling over rising and spilling pattern how it is happening all right so this is your uh, spill over and rise pattern that's continuing all right now if you see if you continue this pro pattern then what is the final configuration that you get so you can see this is the final configuration that you are going to get with five units so you have this uh, this is filled to the top this is filled to the top this is to the, filled to the top and from here uh, whatever is coming further that is going to spill over here and then uh, going to get out from point c now this uh, if, the, if you understand the final configuration now it's a very easy thing to calculate the relation between small h and capital h you know that here the atmospheric pressure is there so throughout here there is an atmospheric pressure and here there's a, a water column so you can say the pressure over here becomes rho g h and at the horizontal level it continues rho g h and we can ignore the density of air so we can assume that air has got negligible density and uh, negligible compressibility so for this uh, air column uh, you can say that uh, uh, there is no change in pressure. So this is rho gh, so it continues rho gh all the way up to here. I'm talking about gauge pressure, so I'm not uh, uh, talking about P0 anywhere. So rho gh and then again from here, again you go down a depth h, so this becomes 2 rho gh and again 2 rho gh continues and again you fall through a depth uh, uh, h, so again another rho gh, so that, that makes it 3 rho gh 
and then again 3 rho gh continues and this becomes 4 rho gh and again 4 rho gh continues and this becomes 5 rho gh all right so pressure over here is 5 rho g and small h okay and from this side you can see if uh, uh, it is filled up to capital h then capital h into rho into g is the pressure at the bottom of this and you can equate the two pressures so what do you get so you can say that 5 small rho gh is equal to rho g into capital h and this straight away gives you that capital h must be equal to 5h and that's our final answer and i hope you like this solution and if you did like the solution uh, i'd request you to Please subscribe to my channel as much as uh, and uh, uh, ask your friends uh, to subscribe as much as possible if you have not already subscribed and uh, please uh, share this video as much as possible with your friends. Uh, those who are preparing for Olympiads or ITJ advanced uh, they might find this uh, video helpful so please share it as much as possible and uh, please do give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching this video that's all for this video and see you in the next one.